Hey, this is Greg Hawks, and welcome to another sourcing in real life thing a week. And today I'm going to be talking about a tool called Machine Sourcer that my friend and, and teammate Michael Vroman told me about just the other day. And I've been playing around with it, and I really like a lot of the functionality. So it's, it's a search and messaging tool. It's absolutely free. You can download it from the Chrome store. And I'm really impressed with some of the functionality. So uh, you, you start by obviously downloading the Chrome extension. You can go to search and connect. And you can look through your first connections, your second connections, and your third connections. And this is, this is focused on LinkedIn as well as the LinkedIn messaging tool. Uh, makes, makes the whole job a whole lot easier. Um, and so close that and it looks this is the icon here so and let's look for let's look for somebody in Java because I'm not looking for somebody in Java and the other cool thing is this works uh, across the globe so let's look I was looking at Ireland let's look for another country let's look in uh, uh, let's look at France let's see how this works in France let me see if I can spell France Basically, you put in keywords, engineer, developer, Java. Uh, let's do front end, just to be funny. And name the search. Start searching. And I'm, I'm doing a second and third connections because I'm pretty much already connected with my first connections. And it goes in, uses AI to create the list, and quite a big list. And I have this set to pull the first 50 people. You could set it for 20, you could set it for uh, more than that. And just by going through some of these profiles, when I was looking for the uh, the, the Redshift folks, I mean, it's, it seems pretty focused. The AI, the AI search is really good. I mean, everybody that I was looking for, for the database, the database, uh, data engine, data warehouse engineer, sorry, I can't talk today. Um, I mean, it was pretty spot on to what I was looking for. So you can look at the list. You can go in here and say, I don't like this person. Uh, you can eliminate them from the list. And I know Mike was telling me that they're working on um, adding some some export functionality as well, as well as the, uh, a lot more improvements and features coming down the line. You can go in here, message them. You can add a personal message. If I can copy this right. And really, it, it will be cool to see some more templates, kind of like some of the other tools out there. You can use a personalized uh, uh, message here, but I'm just doing this to, to show you guys. And so what it'll do is it'll go through here and start typing stuff for you. It'll try to go and connect. And again, this is a global this is a global tool. When I had a longer message, it, it took a, a couple seconds to type it out. I want to stay on this one, so it's still. See, and it's typing out the first name. And it's typing out my message. Isn't that cool? Now I'm going to stop this because I don't want to connect with 50 people. Let's close out of this. Close out of this. Okay, but yeah, that's... And you can see... It works like a charm. I actually use this um, to, to look for data warehouse engineers. And I sent uh, I sent personalized messages to about 18 people, and I got five back um, who were interested in like less than 20 minutes. So 
uh, as far as that turnaround, it's absolutely great. It also depends on how you're messaging, what kind of messaging strategy you're using as well. So that's a big part of it. Um, but no, I mean, I, I'm really impressed with this tool. I'm looking forward to see more and some of the new features come down the line. So definitely check it out. And, and if you have any questions about it and it functionality, you can either reach out to me or uh, Michael Roman, who I believe is going to be writing a very in detailed article about all the steps and all the features involving with this. So, but I just wanted to get this out there so that you, get, you guys were aware of it and you can see it. So, um, if you like what you see, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching and thanks for sharing.